All right, guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is Stella, and today I'm going to be reacting to My Hero Academia episode 11, Game Over. So, seems like a pretty important episode. Um, our heroes are in the midst of a battle with the villain, the League of Villains, I'm pretty sure is what they call themselves, which includes what looks like yeah, possibly hundreds of supervillains. Maybe not hundreds, maybe like 50. There's a lot of supervillains here and some really, really powerful adult villains um, battling off against kids. Now, the kids are powerful. I'm not going to I'm not going to deny that, but it's definitely been a tough battle. So um, there is a big purple smoky guy. I don't know anybody's names yet because they haven't told us their names. There's a big purple smoky guy. He can kind of warp. Uh, so I think what warp means in this sense is teleport. And he did a really good job of splitting up all the students. So now Deku and Mineta and Sue are all together. By the way, Sue is the best. Sue is awesome frog girl. We love her so much. Oh my goodness, she's so cool. Mineta is interesting. And Deku is doing a pretty good job of thinking through things really rationally. I'm actually very proud of him. Um, not that I'm surprised, he's, a, he's my little genius, um, but we're working on coming up with a plan to, you know, defeat the villains. Ida is on his way to tell the school what's going on because the villains, one of their quirks is shutting down the security system um, and sensors and such. So no sensors have gone off. No alarms have gone off. Nobody else in the school is aware of the emergency. So hopefully Ida is going to be able to get there in time, alert, you know, Principal Nezu, maybe the nurse and definitely All Might, and they'll be able to come on over and help. But in the meantime, we kind of have to hold our ground against the League of Villains. So I'm pretty stressed out um, for our, our kiddos here. Um, but I just kind of want to get into it because this is a continuation of last episode, so I don't want to talk for too long. But as always, if you want to watch the full-length reaction of episode 11, it'll be on our Patreon, along with episode 12, Early Access, if you want to check that out. If you're new, welcome. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much for stopping by, and hopefully you stick around. And without further ado, let's get on into My Hero Academia episode 11, Game Over. <laughs> Oh, it's a strong start. Are we recapping? Okay, so League of Villains. So yeah, they're here pretty much just for All Might, which makes me think All Might should actually kind of stay hidden because he's not in a fit shape to fight, you know? I don't know that I want to let go of this opening, though. Like, I feel like I'm starting to get into it, and by the time I'm, like, fully into it, and I've, like, you know, started to learn the words and stuff, it's gonna be a different opening, and I'm gonna have to get used to a different one. Excuse me? This is, like, the first moment of the episode, and we have a reference to a bowel movement. Okay. Yeah, he's letting his he's letting his his overthinking get to him. You got this, buddy. Yeah, he's got to be getting tired, right? The other thing is we're not really able to communicate now between the groups because we've been separated, right? So they don't know that Ida's going to get help yet. Oh my gosh. This kid is... That's what I'm wondering. This is like, he's like a full-blown fighter. I want to know. I've talked about this before. Tell me his backstory, baby. I want to know. Honestly, what? He's not even like breaking a sweat. And he's smart, like he's getting the plan out of them. Bro, I like him. I was gonna say, your weapon is your quirk. Oh. He just gotta hug him. An electric hug. And she's cool. I know I've, we, we kind of got to see her, but so far we haven't got to see her use her quirk very much. Jiro. So she's like, decibel girl. 
Bro, I can't. I also can't remember her name because it's something long, but they've said it a few times already and I'm stupid and just won't, can't memorize it like a dum dum. So next time they say it, I'll commit it to memory. That feels like an overpowered quirk. Holy cow. Just create anything? Yeah, create some clothes. Maybe that's ridiculous for someone who can create clothes that that's the costume they want her to have. Yes. But he's also, he's getting tired. Yeah, he's, oh gosh. Oh no, 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 no. I don't want to watch this happen. Oh my God. What is he doing? That's, oh my gosh. That's horrifying. So he like turns you to stone and then you crumble. Jeez. Mr. Aizawa, please run. Please go get yourself safe. You're too cool to get hurt. That looks so painful. That looks awful. No, is he okay? He's gotta be okay. Dude, what are they doing to him? I wanna know. No, cut back to Mr. Aizawa. I'm sorry, I don't care about you, 13. Oh my gosh, like a double black hole. Oh, he created like, you know, the video game portal. I'm sure you guys do. He did a portal thing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so much worse than I expected it to be. Also, oh, Ida's not on his way to help, which is a bit of a bummer. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, you gotta go. You gotta get... Get out. Come on, Uraraka, you can do something. For sure. I believe in her. It's just hard, because they all have physical attacks. And that was what they said last episode. Physical attacks don't do anything to him. No moo. So he's not even he's not even a villain with a quirk, he's bioengineered. So we got Rockman, we got we got Bakugo duking it out, we love it. Yeah, run. Come on. We need some sometimes we need some brute force. He's trying to help you. Come on, Bakugo. You're so close. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is he actually invisible or just translucent? He's a gecko? Like chameleon. You know what I meant. Listen. Oh, okay. We're fine. It's Randall from Monsters Inc. He's angry, but he also, like, he does put some thought into what he does, right? He has... Because I thought he was irrational, too, but it does seem like he, he has some strategy, and he has a method for keeping himself cool. Ooh. Oh, that's a dope quirk. Oh my gosh, yeah. I was wondering what that metal thing was. Yes, okay, so he's got a real body, so if we attack his actual body, we'll kill him. Come on, Ida, you got this, baby. Oh, it's scotch tape. I mean, not scotch, but it's tape. That's cute. Run. Yeah, game over for you guys. But, hold on, yeah, oh my, oh, oh! No! What is it with the breaking bones? I don't like it! I hate when they do that, they do that all the time, they're like, let's break this bone, let's break that bone, stop! I'm gonna cry, this is so 
visceral. I hate it. Ida's on his way. Just use all might. These are the three guys we need to worry about, right? These are the three most powerful dudes. Oh, he's... He's bonker balls. So that's purple smoke is Kuragiri. I'm just gonna go home. We do not we do not tolerate non-consensual grabs. But the problem is they just if they just leave, we don't get a chance to defeat them. And also Let's not yeah, let's not kill Mr. Aizawa before we No, no! That's an incredible visual. Punch that. Punch him. Punch him. Punch him. Smash him. Oh, he stopped it! He stopped it! Come on, come on, come on. Detroit smash. Whichever smash you want to do. I don't care which smash. Just smash. Oh my gosh! Wait, he did it! <laughs> he was able to get in a good smash! We maybe need to rephrase that a little bit. So all for one doesn't work on him? And he knows now, crap, you just put the hugest target on your back, Deku. Oh no! No! Come on, Sue, you got this, you got this, girl. There's too much happening! Come on, professors, all might, Principal Nezu, I don't care who's here, just somebody come in and save us, please, thank you. That's my boy. But we know, we know that his, his move doesn't work on, on Mr. Hands. It's not fine now. They're here for you. He's got a great theme song. I'll give him that. Oh, we're gonna break the fourth wall a little bit. We're getting another to be continued. Oh my gosh, my headphones fell off. Like, I'm actually like shivering a little bit because of how cold it is, but also because of just how that was really terrifying. Like, the stakes are pretty high, and I don't want them to be. I want the stakes to be a lot lower. I want Mr. Aizawa to be okay. But the good news is we do have the nurse, so as, as soon as the, the League of Villains is out of here, we can heal him up, right? He'll need some time to recover because, holy crap, the bird brain guy pummeled him, and I they said his name, and now I already forgot it. Nomu? What was his name? I don't remember. I don't know how long All Might is going to be able to hold out, though. There, okay, there's so many things to pick apart. First of all, Deku saving Sue, actually, like, I had, like, a an internal emotional reaction to that. Because, because, dude, this these villains are terrifying, right? Not so much, I don't know, not so much the other ones that all showed up. Like, I know that they were trying to outnumber them, but the other villains weren't so, so bad. These three are scary, right? The bird is terrifying, man. And that's not even like a person. That's just like a genetically engineered bird. That's really, really freaking scary. Um, Mr. Aizawa getting absolutely pummeled was really disturbing because I'm starting to like him so much and he's really strong. So the fact that he's getting beaten up like that is terrifying. Um, I'm wondering for Deku, is the reason his arm didn't get break broken, was that because his quirk is uh, useless against uh, against Mr. Handyman? Or is he actually getting stronger? I don't know which one it was. Whether whether his his arm didn't break because of, of Handyman's immunity or a different reason. Or, or like if he's actually getting strong enough to not break his body every time he uses one for all. Um, 
But the other thing is then, if, if Handyman's immune to one for all, what the heck is All Might gonna do? Right? What is All Might gonna do? He's there to save the day, but he can't attack the main guy, like the ringleader. But, but the other... The other professors better be on their way because the other professors maybe can do some stuff, right? And that's what the the, the the League of Villains were saying. They were like, we're gonna get out of here because the other pro heroes, we're nothing against, like we can't hold our ground against them. And that's true. So they better be on their way, right? I can't imagine why they wouldn't be. All Might though, I think needs to steer clear because they're after him. They wanna kill him and he's not in any fit condition to fight, right? Like his body is gonna deteriorate within 10 minutes, he said. Whew. I feel like panicky even just watching that. Um, yeah, the next episode is called All Might. So it's important. Whatever happens with him might change the fate of how this, this battle goes. Um, Todoroki is incredible as always. He's killing it and it's like, terrifying how good he is at being a hero at fighting so like what was his life like man how much training has he undergone because he's like cool as a cucumber under pressure man um bakugo and the the guy who can harden his body i i don't remember his name but they seem like a decent team they seem like they're leveling each other out we could use their skills it seems like 13 is like dead dead right 13's, that was not just an in injury. 13's own black hole got looped back and, and destroyed him. So they're gone. And I didn't learn. I don't know whether um, 13 was a boy or a girl. I still don't know. Um, yeah, this was a lot. And it's not over yet. There's another continuation. I did really like that little fourth wall break at the end with Handyman, which is my name for him. Just, I will, I can't stop calling him that now. Handyman's little, like, look at the camera and he was like, this is a continued. I was like, yeah, this is, we, we need this to be continued or else I'm going to scream because I need to know what happens next. So yeah, honestly, just super excited to watch episode 12. Honestly, uh, stressed out a little bit. I'm sure you guys are enjoying watching me freak out over this especially if you've already seen it um but yeah uh if you want to watch the full-length reaction of this that'll be up on our patreon along with episode 12 early access to that so if you want to check that out head over there um if you liked this and if you're liking the reaction so far please let me know in the comments because i want to keep doing more of this show for sure but i also want to know that you know you guys are enjoying it you're enjoying the reactions and that i'm not missing anything as i watch the show so please let me know in the comments if there's anything i missed any cool facts obviously no spoilers because i'm staying so spoiler free for this show um and and yeah, if you're new here, welcome. We're so glad that you were able to stop by and hopefully you stick around. And I will see you guys next time in episode 12. Um, in the meantime, have an amazing rest of your month, amazing rest of your week, and amazing rest of your day. And peace out. Peace out.